Your QNAP NAS is an excellent option for creating a media server. And when it comes to music, over the past few years, Rune has been establishing itself as a leading premium software for audio files to manage and listen to their music. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how you can set up your QNAP NAS as a Rune server. Something to keep in mind is that Rune recommends a Core i3 processor or equivalent or better for your Rune server. Additionally, it is strongly recommended to store the Rune server on SSD storage. This doesn't mean your entire NAS needs to be populated by SSDs or that all of your music needs to be stored on SSDs, but simply that the Rune server should be run on SSD storage. I'm going to start by creating a new volume on an SSD drive to run the Rune server on. To do this, start by opening the main menu and select Storage and Snapshots. Now click Storage slash Snapshots on the left tab. And next click the Create drop down button and select New Storage Pool. Click Next. Now check the box of the SSD that you will create your volume on. If you use multiple SSDs for the volume, you can select your RAID type, but I'm just using a single SSD, so my only option is to use it as a single disk. On the next page, there are a few configuration options, such as SSD over provisioning. For this video, I'll just leave these settings at their default and continue. Now just review the summary and click Create. You will now be warned that when you configure the SSD for the storage pool, any data on it will be erased. So long as you are OK with this, click OK. You may have to wait a few minutes. Now that there is a storage pool created on the SSD, a window will pop up inviting us to create a new volume. And now select your volume type. I'm going to pick a thick volume and choose which storage pool the volume will be stored on and click next and now you can specify the capacity of your volume next review the summary and click finish now that there is a volume created on SSD storage it's time to install the app so open the App Center. It may take a moment to load. And then click All Apps. I'm going to just search Rune to find the Rune Server app. And click Install. Click Yes, I agree to proceed so long as you agree. And then select the volume that's created uh, on the SSD storage and then click OK. Once the Rune app is installed we will open the Rune app to configure it. So just click Rune server and simply click configure. I'm going to select where I want the Rune core stored. I'll just pick the public shared folder and now it is up and running. For this tutorial, I'm going to use my Mac to run the control. So to download the Rune app, go to runelabs.com slash downloads.html. Something to consider is that the Rune app for QNAP is headless. That is to say that you won't open the Rune app on the NAS and just start browsing your music. This is because Rune is composed of three components, the control, the core, and the output. And the Rune server app for QNAP includes the core and the output, but it does not include the control. So you're going to need to install a version of Rune that includes the control on a client device, such as a Mac, PC, phone, or tablet. Once you've installed Rune, you can go ahead and open it up. 
When you open the app, you'll see the available Rune servers on the network that you can connect to. You may notice that the Rune core can also be set up on your computer. However, an advantage to setting up Rune on a server such as a QNAP NAS is that you won't need to leave the computer running anytime that you want to access Rune. So now I'm just going to click connect to connect to my NAS. Being that Rune is a paid service, on the next page, you're going to see that you have to sign in with your credentials. If you just want to try Rune out, at the time of the making of this video, Rune currently offers a 14-day free trial. After enter entering my user credentials, I can now browse and play my music. After signing in, you can add music from a folder from either a USB drive or a NAS. After making the selection, just click continue. On the next page, you have options to incorporate streaming services with Rune. I don't have a subscription to either of these streaming services, so I'll just click next. On the final page, you can just select an audio output device and click finish. Using QNAP to host your Rune core can be an effective way to avoid heavy CPU usage on your computer and to avoid leaving your computer running. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.